governor, senator, Ademola Adeleke remains the valid governor of Osun State until they get to the Supreme Court. And we strongly believe that at the end of the day, we are going to record final and conclusive victory before the Supreme Court. Many issues involved uh, in this appeal. Some of the issues we won. Some of uh, a bit more of the issues we lost. Overall, we lost the appeal. But they are so they, it's so interesting. We believe that as soon as we collect the various judgments, which are all um, more or less the same, by Monday we would uh, study the judgment and then make our decision. But it's, it's most likely because of the very interesting nature of the decisions made that the matter will not end here. And uh, I represented the interest of uh, PDP as an appellant in respect of this case. You will recall that virtually all the parties in respect of this appeal appeal from the lower tribunal's judgment. Then the respondents equally cross appeal. But judgment has been delivered in respect of all the appeals before this court of appeal this afternoon, they allowed all the appeals filed by the governor-elect Senator Ademola Adeleke. He won his appeal. The PDP as a political party won his appeal. Yep. INEC as an appellant before this court of appeal won the appeal. Won the appeal. Won the appeal. So the totality of the appeal presented before the court of appeal here in have succeeded and the court has affirmed that Senator Ademola Adeleke remains the governor of Osun State. They have the right to appeal to the Supreme Court, but as at this afternoon that I'm talking to you, the press, gentlemen of the press, the position is that Governor, Senator Ademola Adeleke remains the valid governor of Osun State until they get to the Supreme Court. And we strongly believe that at the end of the day, we are going to record final and conclusive victory before the Supreme Court. Um, we, are, we are happy today that eventually we are able to get justice. We have always believed that the justice given by the lower court is best described as a judicial abortion. What it, this means is justice, judicial miscarriage. Um, the, the, the judgment today is in conformity with the expectation of our people. It has really confirmed that our governor, His Excellency, Governor Adibola Adeke, actually and really won the July 16 election. At this junction, we expect the outgoing governor, former Governor Itola, to, uh, to call the governor and uh, congratulate him and equally advise him to bury the ashes and enjoy hands with our governor to move uh, the state forward. We don't expect him to go, to go further than this because uh, at various contestations that we have had since July 16th, July 25th, and January, uh, February 25th, and of course February 18th, we defeated APC in Oshun State. Oh, uh, APC, uh, Oshun State uh, is entirely PDP. We are proving it, and we have no doubt that uh, at the end of the day, our mandate that has been freely given us, given us to us today will be preserved to the benefit of the people of Oshun State. Thank you very much. All of you have seen what happened today. Uh, this, was, this is a case of Daniel that has come to judgment. Exactly. Of course, I mean, the judgment today manifests not only justice, but the scholastic content of the judgment is certainly going to be defying because certainly the legal profession is richer for the judgment delivered today. The innovative and revolutionary provisions of the Electoral Act has, have received judicial adjudication today by the judgment as delivered today. The innovative the innovations, or rather revolutionary innovations in the Electoral Act have received judicial determination today by the judgment delivered. Section 137 of the Electoral Act has received judicial determination today. Today, the legal profession is richer by this judgment as delivered because it's going to be a beacon guide that will illuminate the path in the election petition tribunals that are now ongoing. Thank you.